Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to use Selenium to library keyword checkbox should be selected and checkbox should not be selected in your robot framework test automation. By using the keywords checkbox should be selected or checkbox should not be selected, you can do assertion on checkboxes in your web testing. Now let's see an example. On this custom web page, we have two checkboxes. One is smoke test and another one is the regression test. When a user clicks on the button run smoke test, the smoke test checkbox should be checked or should be selected. When a user clicks on run regression test, the regression test checkbox should be checked and smoke test checkbox should not be checked. So we can come up two test cases. One is when run smoke test button is clicked, smoke test checkbox should be checked or should be selected. Second test case is when a user clicks on run regression test button, smoke test checkbox should not be selected. Now let's run the demo and look at the script. I clicked on run smoke test. Now the smoke test checkbox is checked. Now I click on run regression test. The smoke test checkbox is unchecked or unselected. So by using the two keywords checkbox should be selected or checkbox should not be selected. You can verify that the checkbox is either checked or not checked. Now let's look at the script. I close the window. On the Selenium 2 library test suite, I added two test cases. One is checkbox check test. Second is checkbox uncheck test. So for the documentation, I put the Selenium 2 library keyword checkbox should be selected and its description. And I tagged this test as checkbox. Step one, open browser. Since this page is on the local drive, I use file protocol, open the file D under robot example, Mahara test project and checkbox test dot HTML. We open the file with Firefox. I added slip 10 seconds so that I can move the Firefox window from another screen to the main screen. And click element. The smoke test button is verified by locator name. Name equal to smoke test button. Now number four checkbox should be selected. ID equal to smoke test checkbox. So this line verifies that smoke test checkbox should be selected. Then we close the browser. Now let's look at the second test case, checkbox uncheck test. For the documentation, I added Selenium to library keyword and checkbox should not be selected and description verifies that checkbox identified by locator is not selected or checked. Since the custom file is on the local drive, open browser and use file protocol to open the file. Use Firefox. I added a slip 10 seconds as indicated in previous test. The main purpose of slip is for the demonstration. So in your actual test script, 
you should avoid hard-coded slip keyword. Click element. Click on the regression test button and name equal to regression test button. Now the verification is checkbox should not be selected. ID equal to smoke test checkbox. When a user clicks on the regression test button, smoke test checkbox should be unchecked. Now close browser. And I target this test case as checkbox. Now I click on the run tab and run the test. So start. So I move this screen to the main window. Test one passed. Now second test started. I move the window to the main screen. So second test passed. Now let's look at the log file. I click on the log. So we have two test cases and two passed. There is no failure. So pass fail indicator is green. The test suite is Selenium 2 library suite. The test is I run is checkbox check test and checkbox uncheck test. So under checkbox check test, the first line open browser, open the file with Firefox is successful. Select 10 seconds and click element name equal to smoke test button. The run smoke test button is clicked. Now checkbox should be selected. ID equal to smoke test checkbox. Verifying checkbox ID equal to smoke test checkbox is selected. Now close browser. So all these steps passed. Now let's look at the second test case. Checkbox uncheck test. Open browser. We open the file with Firefox. Slip 10 seconds just for demo purposes. And click element name equal to regression test button. I clicked on the regression test. Now checkbox should not be selected. ID equal to smooth test checkbox. So in previous test case, Checkbox should be selected because when I click on the run smoke test button, the smoke test checkbox should be checked. In the second test case, when I click on the run regression test button, the smoke test checkbox should be unchecked. So the two test cases passed. As explained in this video tutorial and example, you can use checkbox should be selected to verify that checkbox identified by locator is selected or checked. And by using checkbox should not be selected keyword, you can verify that a checkbox identified by locator is not selected or checked. If you have any questions, you can visit the website robotframework.org for corresponding documentations or examples. For written example, please visit www.seleniummaster.com website. Thanks for watching.